Ok, bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Untuk malam ni kita punya kelas English eh Ok, untuk malam ni uh, Saya akan bagi uh, Paper English uh, Tahun 2018 Ok, paper 1 Kita nak bincangkan dan brainstorming Macam mana cara nak buat karangan untuk continuous writing Ok, so as you can see eh, Saya akan tunjukkan pada kamu uh, Kertas dia Yang mana kamu boleh lihat Ok kita try jawab soalan nombor satu. Okay, soalan nombor satu. Describe a problem you once had while you were traveling. Explain what you did to solve the problem and what you have learned from the experience. Okay. From the question itself, eh, okay. Uh, kita ada tiga benda yang kita nak highlight. Yang pertama sekali problem dia. Okay, masa you travel, you pernah travel kan? Travel mana tak kisahlah Krabi ke London ke Paris ke. Okay, mesti kita ada problem. Okay, nombor duanya dia kata... Apa yang you buat untuk solve the problem Macam mana kamu buat masa Yang kamu buat untuk menyelesaikan masalah tu And the third one What you have learned from the experience Apa yang kamu dah belajar daripada experience tersebut So, bila kita tengok kat sini Okay Untuk tiga benda ni sangat cukup untuk kamu capai 350 patah perkataan Malahan lebih lagi Okay Now Okay, kena ingat Tajuk utama kita adalah problem why traveling ya yeah? Problem saya travelling, okay? Jangan get confused, okay? Dan lepas tu pula, you tengok kat sini. First, yang paling penting sekali adalah you describe a problem you once had while travelling. Okay, katakan contohnya saya pernah travel ke tempat ke Indonesia, contoh ke Lombok ke mana mana ke, okay? And I experience diarrhea, okay? What is diarrhea? Diarrhea tu adalah cerit berit, okay? Now you tahu, the problem is diarrhea, okay? Benda ni mungkin you boleh cerita experience lah Okay Apa Once you pergi makan kat kedai makan ke Mana-mana ke And then lepas pula you kena food poisoning Diarrhea must be caused by food poisoning Okay So you boleh cerita benda tu dekat introduction karangan And then after that Apa you boleh buat adalah You highlight pula Apa yang you buat Bila you dapat masalah tu Okay So now saya bagi kamu tiga points utama Okay How you handle the situation First You drink lots of water And then you can elaborate lah You minum macam mana Berapa banyak you minum Berapa kali you minum sehari Okay The frequency and everything And then you choose your food carefully Okay Macam mana you choose your food carefully Maybe you boleh kata You tak minum uh, Dairy product or dairy food Okay Dairy D-A-I-R-Y ni Maksudnya produk-produk tenusul lah Which means you tahu Kalau you kena diarrhea You tak boleh makan dairy food And then you makan makanan yang kering saja seperti roti, biskut dan sebagainya, okay? Bread and biscuit. And then the third one, you must buy medicine, okay? You boleh kata you beli apa medicine for diarrhea ke? You boleh kata you makan paracetamol ke? Everything. You mungkin boleh cerita you ambil traditional remedies. Remedies R E M E D I E. Remedies maksudnya rawatan, okay? So you boleh elaborate pasal tu. And then the third one. Okay, don't get confused eh? Don't get confused uh, Benda ni you boleh elaborate Try dulu elaborate Saya tak minta 350 patah perkataan malam ni Saya minta lebih kurang dalam 150 ke, 300, ke 200 dulu Okay at least Tapi kalau kamu boleh buat sampai 300 Then uh, Kita amat mengalu-ngalukan benda tu Now the third one Okay Yang you boleh tengok kat sini adalah macam mana kita Apa yang kita belajar dari situasi tersebut What have I learned from the incidents Okay So now yang ini you boleh elaborate Okay First The first paragraph introduction One paragraph And then the second paragraph Is how you handle situation And then the third paragraph Is what I have I learned from the incident So You boleh kata It only foods that I could And serve hot And then you boleh kata You wash your hands with soap And water Especially after using the bathroom And before eating And then you boleh kata Avoid ice Because it may have been made From unclean water And then you boleh kata It only wash or Peel raw fruits and vegetable Okay Peel tu saya tersalah aja Patutnya P-E-E-L-E-D eh P-E-E-L-E-D Peel maksudnya dikupas Okay Raw maksudnya mentah Okay Yang ini saya punya point You boleh elaborate Mungkin 5-6 point Okay And then lastly You buat conclusion Okay Conclusion simple lah Dalam 20 words Or 30 words Okay uh, Therefore Saya rasa Okay Saya rasa itu saja Untuk malam ni If you have any question You can drop Uh, in the telegram Okay You drop the question In the telegram And I will try to Entertain the question Okay As soon as possible Okay Have a nice day ahead Please stay home Please stay safe
Okay, thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.